feeling I get as salesperson, right? And it's not what you said. It's not even how you said it. It's the tone. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hi, Mr. Johnson. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Johnson. It's Joanne. This is Sotheby's. How are you doing today? Doing good. That's good. I'm doing good myself, too. Just enjoying this gorgeous day. Isn't it beautiful outside? It is beautiful. Well, listen, Mr. Johnson, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I just called to let you know that uh, we just sold a house around the corner from you, and I was calling to see if there wasn't anything in the world that I could do for you. No, not right now. Oh, I got you. Okay, sure. Well, um, you know, sometime you might want to uh, want to know some information about the neighborhood. Would it be okay if I stayed in touch with you? Sure. Awesome. Well, Mr. Johnson, uh, what's your email, sir? Ricky at zero to diamond .com. Very great. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Johnson. Well, I'll send you a little email so you have my contact information, and I look forward to staying in touch. And, and you have my phone number right there. Feel free to give me a call anytime. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. And in the meantime, you have a great day, and I look forward to talking with you real soon. Absolutely. Have a good day. You too. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Cool. So, and by the way, guys, like role playing is something that's not natural. It's a fabricated, it's an imaginary scenario, right? So it's always going to be awkward, you know? So I understand that this is not going to be our perfect script or a perfect pitch or a perfect, you know, phone call or whatever. One thing that I want you to really work on is your tongue, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Like what I get when I hear you talk, and like I say, I know it's you know awkward deal, we're live and all this stuff, but what the feeling I get is it's salesperson, right? Oh, What's that? You mean my attitude was you felt like uh, you were talking to a salesperson? Yes, yes, oh. the, the feeling I get is salesperson, okay. right? And it's not what you said, it's not even how you said it, it's the tone, right? You were like, two octaves too high, the pitch of your voice was too high, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. You were not relaxed, right? Sure. When you're talking yeah. to your family, when you're talking to your brother, cousin, mother, you are relaxed. I mean, unless you're telling them something crazy that, you know, there's definitely those situations where you're not relaxed. But most of the time, okay, you are very relaxed, okay? So what you have to do is you have to start emulating how you talk to your parents and your, your siblings and kids and your cousins and your best friends and other agents in the office and your broker. I guarantee you if I listen to those conversations you have with the people that you love and care about versus your prospects, it, I would hear two completely different tones. Yeah. And what you have to focus on and what you need to start doing is starting to try to emulate to where you can't tell the difference in the tone. Okay. You know what I mean? Sure. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, I thought you did great as far as the script goes. Here's the thing, Philip missed it too. As soon as they say they don't want to do anything, you immediately have to go into, I got you, well, is there an agent that you would work with if you were to do something? Oh, right. Right, right, we missed that. And here's another tip. You say, well, hey, you know, I'm sure you'll do something down the road. If you are if I, you know, stay in touch with you and send you information every once in a while, right? Never say information, never say marker report. Never say this, never say that. The only thing you should say when you're asking for the email address is, is would it be all right if I stayed in touch with you? Okay. Because that displays that you just want to personally stay in touch with them, as opposed to, hey, I'm going to put you on this big list of a lot of people and I'm going to send everybody just bulk stuff, information, right. or market reports and you're just gonna be another number on my big list. Versus, hey, I wanna stay in touch with you. Ricky wants to stay in touch with you, Mr. Seller. You know, it gives it that personable touch. You never wanna say, hey, I'm calling all the, all the, I'm calling everybody in the subdivision, or I'm calling all your neighbors, or I'm, I'm calling everybody at whatever subdivision, because then that starts the conversation on the wrong foot. It makes your prospect think that you're just calling everybody on this big list, they're just another number, you're just going through the motions calling everybody. There's no personalization behind it. 